today we're doing a product test video about the Ninja Tackle Dagger surf fishing rod, 11 foot surf fishing rod. product test video about the Ninja Tackle Dagger surf fishing rod, 11 foot surf fishing rod. Now this is the Lady Dagger, so don't let that confuse you because it is the same exact rod as the 11 foot Ninja Dagger, but it's just got pink on it, <laughs> which I like. I mean, it's, it's really pretty. So uh, this has been very well used. There, there are some scratches and things you're going to see on this, uh, on the connector piece. I have been using this for a couple of years now, so I've got some longevity with it. So I just want to show it to you because it has been such an awesome surf fishing rod. Uh, my biggest fish ever I brought in on this and it didn't even seem like it was strained too much. It was a five, over five foot nurse shark. I have been fighting this shark for at least 15 minutes or so. Holy cow, look at this shark. All right, I need to get my pliers and my phone. I gotta measure her. Oh, she just smacked. <laughs> she just smacked me with her tail. All right, girl, let's get you back in the water. Check you out. There you go, a little bit of water. Get you revived. There she goes, she's swimming on her own. And if I didn't mention it before, Ninja Tackle is a sponsor of Fishing Girl. We are super appreciative to Matt Poole and everything that he's done to support and help Fishing Girl. And we're so excited to see what the next stages of that sponsorship is gonna look like. So stay tuned for that. So this has, one thing I really like about it, it has a really long um, shaft here to the butt of the rod and uh, that gives you a lot of leverage when you're casting Then you've got one hand on the butt and one hand right next to the reel. You've got a lot of distance between your arms and that's going to give you a lot more power as you're casting. So um, I will show you the specs on this. Where are they? They're right there. So if you can read that I'll let you read that real quick and then I'm going to read it to you here. We're going to talk about this. So, it's pretty well worn as you can tell, but it's a medium heavy, fast action. Uh, you can do a lure weight of two to seven ounces with this rod. And then it's a 11 foot surf fishing rod, um, 17 to 40 pound line. It's, it's really worn away, but I'm pretty sure that's what it says. It's 17 to 40 pounds. And I use uh, th a 20 pound high visibility mono, uh, usually on all my lines, unless I've got a heavier duty line for like targeting sharks and bluefish and things like that. Then I might have like a 30 or 40 pound line on that. Now this doesn't have the, the sensitivity on the tip that some other rods that I have have. It's, it's stiffer, but it still will bend a little bit when you have it set in the rod holder so you can detect the, uh, the bite. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to bait this back up and I'm going to cast it back out so you can see the action of it when you're casting. Well, I baiting this up with some sand fleece that I caught and I had a... I don't know if he's a subscriber or not, but he says he watches my videos and says it's pretty valuable stuff, so... That's good to know. Okay, we've got this all baited up with some more sand fleas, and I'm gonna cast this out and show you what it looks like when it's casting. We're gonna slow it down too, so you can see all the action when it's being cast. I'm gonna do a long cast. Let me turn this over here. Now you can see the difference between 
the ninja dagger uh, and the uh, fish bite, the uh, Akuma Rockaway when they're both tightened down. Okay, I've got them both tightened down. You can see the Akuma Rockaway has a little bit more bend to it. And keep in mind, we lost about six inches off the tip of that from it breaking and having to put a new tip on there. So at least six inches, maybe eight is gone. But yeah, that used to curve a whole lot more when it was tightened down. One thing I didn't touch on was the guides. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six guides. And um, I'm not sure exactly which brand they are, but I can tell you I've never had any problem with these, bra with these guides. Um, the one on the tip. A little worn because it's being used a lot <laughs> and it gets a lot of spray from the water and if you're new to surf fishing every time you get home just rinse all of your equipment down with fresh water and that's going to give it a lot more life to it than if you didn't especially your reels you should really be rinsing your reels 20 to 30 seconds on a low power spray not high powered and try to spray it from underneath that's going to help dislodge any of the sand and the salt and stuff out of the reel. If you're spraying it from the top or the sides most of the time, you could be pushing it. Especially if you're doing it on a really high setting, you're gonna possibly even be pushing the sand and the salt into the reel. So you don't wanna be doing that. But anyways, if you have any other questions about the Ninja Tackle Dagger, let me know. If there's other products that you would like to have me do a review on. Leave that in the comments. I like to review the products that I use the most, but if there's other products that I might be able to get my hands on and do a review. If you make products that you would like to have me review, please reach out to me, leave a comment, or you can go to my website, fishing-girl.com. Those links are in the description, along with a link to Ninja Tackle for this rod. And I'm just gonna put a little plug in here for Salt Strong. I'm a chapter uh, president of Salt Strong. They have partnered with Ninja Tackle to sell their surf fishing rods. So if you're in an insider member with Salt Strong, you will get a discount on all your tackle. I guarantee it's gonna pay for itself in less than a year of having a membership with them. And it's an amazing community. They now have chapters, local chapters. And if you're in the Flagler Beach area or anywhere from St. Augustine all the way down to New Smyrna Beach, you're gonna be visiting. Maybe you wanna try surf fishing. Check out my website, fishing-girl.com. Click on the Charters tab, and let's get hooked up with a charter so that you can come out to the beach with me and learn how to fish. I would love to show you how much fun it is to uh, not only learn about surf fishing, but to get on the fish. And we are almost always on the fish out here. So thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. And if you got this far, you rock, thank you. And as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see you. Say hi to Fred. Hey, you're talking to him. Sorry, he's a little rude sometimes. Anyways, catch you later. <laughs>